Okay, uh, I've just imported this uh, football schedule uh, just to show you um, how uh, we can use uh, tabs to align different columns of information. So if I go to type and show hidden characters, you can see these double arrows right here. These double arrows are basically a tab. So if I come in here and I delete this and hit the tab key, it creates that double arrow. So notice that these columns are not lined up. They're just in here willy-nilly. Uh, so what I can do is I can um, adjust those through type and tabs. So the first thing I'll do is I will go um, select all and make you know I see that I, my T tool is activated. So when I select all, it makes it um, reverses everything. And then I'm going to go to type and tabs. And right here, if we put this item here, you can see that we can slide that back and forth. And that's a flush left. We got a flush left. We got a flush center. We got a flush right or a right justified. And this is a decimal point. So say you have something that is. Um, has uh, a whole number and then has uh, t tens, hundreds, thousands, you know, it, the decimal will be the center. It, it'll line up at the decimal. Uh, so we can add more into here. And so let's kind of move this around. So this kind of fits right about here, but then this HC gets in the way. So if I pull this over outside the HC like that, there we go. And then pull this out past Alabama. Kind of eyeballing it. And let's go type hide hidden characters and turn off the type and tabs and hit W and there is our table using type and tabs.